Let's start with what tax credits are. Yeah, what are, are they? Uh, there's a little problem with tax credits. They're not really anything to do with tax and they're not a credit. But oh. apart from that, it's a great name. It, it's actually, it was, it's a political reason they call them tax credits. What happened years ago when this was set up, it was the Brown government, uh, when Brown was Chancellor, that what they did is they wanted to, the Treasury wanted to take power over this form of benefits. They didn't want it to be part of a social security payment, so they called it a tax credit. But let's forget the name and let's just, this is a payment that goes into your bank account. It's a form of benefit. That's what it is. And there are two main types. There's the working tax credit, which can be paid to some people if they work, regardless of whether they have children or not. People get confused about this. And there's the child tax credit that are, that's paid for people who have children, regardless of whether they work or not. The two are independent of each other, but you could get both. Now, this is big money. The typical child tax credit payment, which a lot of people get, that's the bulk, is £545 a year. But if you had the childcare element of working tax credit, that average payment is £3,000 a year. And there are many people who are getting far more than that with a combination of payments. In fact, it goes right up or nearly up to the benefit cap, which is, with all the benefits together is £26,000 a year for a single child. This is big money, is the I point I'm trying to make. I who can get it, but why, why are they getting it? Well, if you think about it, if you, what, what it tries to do is it tries to make work pay for those who are working. Right. So if you're working and you're not earning that much, they want to encourage you Tops to be up. better off than those people who aren't working. That's why the working tax credit exists. I understand. And if you've got children, it's support from the state to help those with children to look after them and give them a okay. decent home. So that's, the, that's a derivative of the two. I'm not saying that's what they actually deliver. I'm saying that's the concept and the idea behind them. But 5.8 million people, this is the big thing, are having renewal forms right now and the official deadline is the 31st of July. I'll tell you why I think you should do it quicker in a moment. And that's the real focus that's going on at the moment. So when do you fall into the catchment? When are you eligible? Well, you will know. If you're getting the forms at the moment, you will be sent to one of these two. Now, I have to say these are stunt envelopes. They're not the real envelopes. They're, so they won't normally be this big. And the colour of the envelope makes a big difference. Okay. Which is the, the only reason you're holding those it's envelopes up. It's the only up. reason I'm holding the envelopes up, because we're going to go for exactly stunt envelopes. If you get a brown envelope, this is a review envelope. You open it, you read through line by line, please, to check that everything is correct. If everything is correct, you do nothing. Okay. You do nothing. What if it's white? Well, we'll come to white in a oh, moment. Right, okay. If it's wrong, you have to call the tax credit hotline and tell them what's wrong with it. So that's the most important okay, thing. Don't rush the envelope. Brown Sorry. envelope. You can look after this for me. Brown envelope, do nothing. Okay. okay. White envelope, oh. declaration envelope. You check it through line by line. You see where I'm going with this. Now, I'm going to tell you why this is so important in a moment, but you really just do it this way. And even if it is correct, you need to send it back. If you don't send it back, you could have your tax credit stopped, you could have overpayments and be asked to pay money back. You need to do this properly. Now, for the, for the second year, you can do this online as well, on gov.uk, or you can call up the tax credit hotline to tell them if there are any errors or problems in it, or you can note the problems on your form. So, white envelope, you need to send it back. Brown envelope, just check it's right, and if it is right, you don't need to do anything at all. But if it's wrong, please get in touch with them. Getting this wrong causes... I can't tell you how many... The, the, the funny thing is, what goes wrong here? And what everyone gets obsessed about is a thing called overpayments, which is where you get paid too much. And then you've got to pay it back. Yeah, even if you've spent it. And it causes absolute hell, and it comes back for years. And I get people whose finances are in such dire straits. The system, they've improved it over the years, but it's still not good enough. We, the most important thing is to avoid overpayment hell, because it's just such an awful situation. Why, did, why didn't it just say on the brown envelope, check this if it's right, don't do anything, they do. and on that one, say, check this and send it back? They do, but people get scared and people get worried. But, the, but there's a bigger thing going on. I'm, I'm perhaps going to move ahead of where I was going in the, Go in the structure. But the most important th message I have today, I've got one of my signs, oh, is Lord. this. If anything changes, tell them, tell them, Tell them. And this isn't just at the renewal period. This is, there are two reasons you get overpaid. One, because you've had a change of circumstance that you haven't told them about. Two, because they've messed up and they've not taken it down. Now, if you haven't told them about it, you have to pay it back. If they've messed up, you don't have to pay it back. Here are the things that count as changes that people don't tell them about and should. Your partner moves in or out. You get married. You separate. Those are changes of status. You need to tell them. You change your working hours or you stop or stop working. Changes of status. Working hours, not income note. If you, your childcare costs change, think about that, how common that is, a change in childcare costs or childcare hours. You need to inform them of that at the time, at any point during the year. And I'd also tell them if 
yeah, there's a change in your income or your kids are staying in full-time education or a change of address. Those are absolutely crucial and more important than that, I'm a journalist. When I take, talk to somebody on the phone, I take a thing called contemporaneous notes, which means a legal term, meaning notes made at the time of the conversation. When you talk, call the tax credit hotline to tell them, tell them, tell them something, take a contemporaneous note. Easiest way to do this... Don't try to spell contemporaneous. Don't though, worry. Because I, I, I wouldn't be able to. Easiest way is at the moment you're talking to them, just afterwards, write an email saying, called the tax credit hotline, told them about my change in hours, told them that my partner has just moved in with me, and that way you have a timestamp record. So, so if you they send get it, it to yourself. You send it to yourself, you send it to a friend, and then if they say you didn't tell us, you go back to your note, you've got evidence that you did, and therefore the burden is on them to say, sorry, actually we made a mistake, and that does happen, and that would mean you didn't have to pay it back. Um, it's so important. Really quickly, but something else always important, um, phishing is a common problem when it comes to tax credit renewal. Tax credits and tax... Uh, and. Uh, Tax forms, general tax yeah. sending in your self-assessment tax form. Look, if you get an email from the revenue about tax credits telling you you've overpaid or you've underpaid, or you get an email from the revenue, unless you're in a dialogue with them telling you've got a tax rebate, it's a scam, it's a fraud, it's phishing. Don't touch it, don't sniff it, don't smell it, don't go near it, avoid. They will generally get in touch with you by post. They will not email you things unless you're already in a dialogue with them. So that's a fake. Good. <laughs> Don't go near it. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I'll give you your Thank envelope you back just in case you get cross with me. You're Thank stunt you. envelope. <laughs>